it's Miss Natalie. I'm here with Gunther today, and we're gonna learn all about farm animals. <laughs> today I'm at a farm called A Zoo To You. A Zoo To You will set up a petting zoo in your backyard. I went to the farm where the animals live. Since these animals are used to being around people, they are really calm and so friendly. A Zoo To You has over 120 animals, including lots and lots of baby animals. Aww. We will meet some of them today. I'll be posting lots of videos from the farm, so make sure you hit subscribe so you can be the first to see them. We walked through the barn to head outside to the playground. Except there weren't any kids there. Well, actually, there were kids there, because a baby goat is called a kid. Let's see if these goats act like the human kids we know. Baby goats love to play. They will even chase each other and play fight with their horns. But the older goats just relax and eat in the shade. These goats were very friendly and curious. You have to watch out though because they are open-minded. They'll try to eat anything once. They want to nip my belt? No thank you. Oh, and they're very soft. Oh, no thank you. He wants my belt. Goats are known for eating everything, anything they want. Hi guys. <laughs> but they are just cuddly. Oh my gosh, he's just kind of licking my arm. Hi. It's time for emu break. Friends, be very careful around emus because they can be really aggressive. Aggressive means they might do something to attack or scare you away. The emu does not go on the petting zoo trips, but it is at the farm. Oh, I forgot to mention, the emus were named Becky and Karen. Oh, I held a baby doll sheep too. A baby doll sheep is really docile or calm. They were big and fluffy and napping in the shade. Since they were so sleepy, this is the only video we got of one. She has black fur that was covered in hay. This is actually a baby, baby doll sheep, but she weighed quite a bit, probably 40 to 50 pounds. This baby doll sheep is only 18 weeks old, or about four months, but look how big it already is. Good thing they're just so docile and sweet. Next, we saw the alpacas and the llamas. Hi. And they were chaotic. Can you count how many there are? Llamas and alpacas are closely related. Llamas are taller. They are independent and do not mind being alone. They are used to protect other farm animals. Alpacas are smaller. They like to stay in groups. Both animals have hair used to make clothing and fabric, just like a sheep. This is Ace. He's so fuzzy. His fur is so soft, the top. And then down here, it feels just kind of like you got your hair cut, like a little buzz cut. Watch out for that mini horse. There was a baby alpaca. She was only four weeks old and wanted to stay right by her mom. Just like camels, llamas will spit when they're upset. I don't know what's going on here, but I stayed away. <laughs> We're gonna meet the bunnies. All right, I'm gonna see if you'll let me pick you up. Whoops. Let me hold you, ready? Nope. Whoop. Whoop. And now, the reason why I came here. Can you guess? Piglets! These piglets were only four days old. They were really tiny. They nurse from their mother every three hours. Oh, and they're just so sweet. They like to stay in a group and near their mom.
These piglets were older, around 18 weeks or four months. When they are in a group, they feel nervous and stick together. But once you get one alone, it will actually be very confident and social, which means it likes to meet people. Keep an eye on their little tails. They just wag them back and forth. They were silly though and loved playing around with each other. I guess they haven't learned their manners yet. Anyway, I love these piglets and I could be with them all day, but I've got more to show you. I'll be posting a longer video with more piglets. And then I met Poppy the honey bear. <laughs> Poppy is a kinkajou, but their nickname is a honey bear. I feel so excited and very nervous. Now Poppy lives at the farm. She does not come on the petting zoo trips, but you can come visit her. She has to stay inside her cage though because she's very crafty and loves to escape. Honey bears are interesting little creatures. They live in South America. They have strong tails like a monkey and are fuzzy like a bear. They are pretty cute, but I soon found out they are rascals. I've got a whole nother video to show you what a silly girl she was. She seems sweet, but what if I run out of pouch? Oh my God. <laughs> the last animals we met were the donkeys. I was so surprised to see how loving they are. Donkeys are used on farms to carry heavy things and for children to ride. A lot of people love donkeys because they are so nice to people. They were very curious and just wanted to be near us, but maybe too near us. Oh, they're very friendly. The donkeys love the camera. They're all just gathering up. Maybe they love you. The best surprise of the day is that my buddy Silas here, he's just a love bug and we have been trying to film some of the other animals and he's just following me around everywhere I go. Hi Silas! Here he comes! Comment below to share which animal was your favorite. And subscribe to my channel for more videos from the farm. Thanks for watching my trip to the farm. See you next time.